Deep in the heart of the Indonesian archipelago lies a land of breathtaking beauty and unparalleled biodiversity. A land where towering mountains pierce the sky, their peaks shrouded in mist, and lush rainforests teem with life in a symphony of colours and sounds. This is Papua and West Papua, the easternmost provinces of Indonesia, a land often described as the final frontier of exploration. The cultural tapestry of Papua and West Papua is as rich and varied as its natural landscape. From the Asmat people, renowned for their intricate wood carvings and spiritual beliefs, to the Dani tribe, known for their unique agricultural practices and vibrant festivals, each indigenous group contributes to the region's vibrant cultural mosaic. The history of Papua and West Papua is as captivating as its natural and cultural heritage. From the early migrations of Melanesian people thousands of years ago to the arrival of European explorers in the 16th century, these provinces have witnessed the ebb and flow of civilizations, each leaving its mark on the region's cultural and historical landscape. Nestled along the shores of the Yos Sudarso Bay, Jayapura, the capital of Papua province, is a vibrant tapestry of cultures and landscapes. Known as the Emerald City for its lush green hills that cascade down to the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean, Jayapura is a city where modernity and tradition coexist in a delicate balance. At the northwestern tip of Papua lies Sorong, a bustling port city renowned as the gateway to the Raja Ampat Islands, a marine paradise of unparalleled beauty. Sorong is a city where the energy of urban life mingles with the tranquility of the surrounding islands, creating a unique and captivating atmosphere. In a picturesque setting, where verdant mountains plunge into the turquoise waters of Senderawasi Bay, lies Manakwari, a city of captivating beauty and historical significance. Known for its stunning natural landscapes and rich cultural heritage, Manakwari offers a glimpse into the heart of West Papua. Beyond the concrete and steel of urban development, the true essence of Papua's cities lies in the warmth and resilience of its people. Despite the challenges of modernization and globalization, the spirit of community and tradition remains strong, woven into the fabric of daily life. The cities of Papua, while brimming with potential, also face a unique set of challenges. Rapid urbanization, coupled with economic disparities and environmental concerns, requires careful planning and sustainable development strategies. Venturing beyond the bustling streets of Jayapura city, we enter the heartland of Papua province, the Jayapura Regency. Here, amidst rolling hills and verdant valleys, lie traditional villages where the echoes of ancient customs and beliefs still resonate strongly. The Regency, a tapestry of cultural diversity, is home to a multitude of indigenous groups, each contributing to the vibrant mosaic of Papuan heritage. In the heart of Papua lies Mimika Regency, a land of stark contrasts where the raw power of nature collides with the ambitions of modern industry. Home to the Grasberg Mine, one of the world's largest gold and copper mines, Mimica is a region grappling with the complexities of development and its impact on the environment and indigenous communities. In the remote southeastern corner of Papua lies Boven de Goel Regency, a land of rugged beauty and historical significance. 
Known for its vast swamplands, dense rainforests, and formidable river systems, Boven de Gaul is a region where nature reigns supreme, shaping the lives and destinies of its people. As we journey through the regencies of Papua province, from the traditional villages nestled amidst rolling hills to the bustling mining towns and remote outposts, we begin to grasp the true essence of this extraordinary land. It's a land of breathtaking beauty and stark contrasts, where the ancient rhythms of nature collide with the ambitions of the modern world. The regencies of Papua province stand at a crossroads, grappling with the complexities of modernization while striving to preserve their unique cultural identities. The echoes of a turbulent past marked by colonial exploitation and political upheaval still resonate in these lands, a stark reminder of the challenges faced by the Papuan people. Our journey through West Papua takes us to the sparkling waters of Senderawasi Bay, where the Yapan Islands Regency unveils its treasures. This archipelago, a string of emerald jewels scattered across the azure canvas of the sea, offers a glimpse into a world where life revolves around the rhythms of the ocean. Prepare to be captivated as we venture into the heart of Raja Ampat Regency, a realm of unparalleled marine biodiversity and breathtaking landscapes. This archipelago, often hailed as the crown jewel of the Coral Triangle, is a testament to nature's artistry, a symphony of colours, shapes and sounds that will leave you breathless. As West Papua opens up to the world, the Regencies face the delicate task of balancing economic development with the preservation of their unique cultural and natural heritage. The lure of progress, with its promise of improved infrastructure, education and healthcare, must be carefully weighed against the potential impact on traditional ways of life and the environment. The Regencies of West Papua bear a profound responsibility as guardians of a fragile paradise. The world's eyes are increasingly turning to these pristine lands and waters, drawn by their unparalleled beauty and biodiversity. Yet with this attention comes the imperative to protect these treasures for generations to come. As our journey through West Papua draws to a close, we are left with a profound sense of awe and inspiration. From the soaring peaks of the Arfak Mountains to the vibrant coral reefs of Raja Ampat, from the bustling markets of Manokwari to the remote villages of the Yapan Islands, West Papua has revealed itself to be a land of breathtaking beauty, cultural richness and unwavering resilience. As we conclude our journey through the enchanting landscapes and vibrant cultures of Papua and West Papua, we are reminded of the profound beauty and diversity that these regions hold. From the dense, verdant rainforest that stretch as far as the eye can see, to the rugged mountains that stand as silent sentinels over the land, every corner of this paradise tells a story of nature's grandeur. We are left with a profound sense of wonder and responsibility the smiles of the local children, the harmonious way in which villagers interact with their natural surroundings, and the deep-rooted traditions that have been passed down through generations all speak to a way of life that is inextricably linked to the land. These provinces, often dubbed the birds of paradise, are not mere geographical expressions on a map. They are living, breathing testaments to the Earth's extraordinary biodiversity. The vibrant plumage of the birds of paradise flitting through the lush forest canopy is a sight to behold, a symbol of the unique and irreplaceable life forms that call this region home. 
The detailed maps and satellite imagery of Papua and West Papua reveal a landscape that is as diverse as it is vast. From the coastal mangroves to the alpine meadows, each ecosystem plays a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of the region. They are living, breathing testaments to the Earth's extraordinary biodiversity. The dense jungles teem with life from the smallest insects to the largest mammals, each species playing its part in the intricate web of life that sustains the ecosystem and the resilience of ancient human traditions. The traditional dances and rituals of the indigenous people are not just cultural expressions, they are a testament to a way of life that has endured for millennia, a way of life that is deeply connected to the natural world. Yet, this paradise faces unprecedented challenges in the modern era. The encroachment of industrial activities, the relentless clearing of forests for agriculture and development, and the ever-growing footprint of human activity threaten to disrupt the delicate balance that has sustained these regions for so long. The relentless march of globalization brings with it both opportunities and challenges. While modern infrastructure projects promise economic growth and improved living standards, they also pose a significant threat to the natural and cultural heritage of Papua and West Papua. Coupled with the pressures of economic development, these activities threaten to erode the delicate balance that has sustained these provinces for millennia. Mining and logging operations, while economically beneficial, often come at a high environmental cost, leading to habitat destruction and loss of biodiversity. It is a delicate balance that must be maintained. The contrasting images of modernity and traditional life highlight the need for sustainable development practices that respect both the environment and the cultural heritage of the region. Environmental conservation efforts in West Papua are a step in the right direction, but much more needs to be done to ensure that this paradise is preserved for future generations. Preserving the natural and cultural heritage of Papua and West Papua requires a multifaceted approach, one that respects the rich biodiversity and the vibrant cultures that have thrived here for centuries. This approach must be inclusive, involving local communities, governments and international partners working together towards a common goal. It is not enough to simply talk about sustainability, we must take concrete steps to achieve it. This means implementing policies that protect the environment, promote social justice and foster economic growth. It necessitates a paradigm shift, a fundamental change in the way we think about development and progress. We must move away from the extractive models of development that have often prioritised short-term profits over long-term sustainability. These models have led to deforestation, loss of biodiversity and social inequalities. Investing in a sustainable future for these provinces means embracing a holistic vision, one that balances economic, social and environmental goals. This vision recognises the interconnectedness of economic prosperity, social equity and environmental conservation. It involves promoting renewable energy projects, supporting eco-friendly farming practices and ensuring that local markets thrive. By investing in sustainable practices, we can create a future where the people of Papua and West Papua can enjoy a high quality of life while preserving their natural and cultural heritage for generations to come. This is not just an investment in the future of these provinces, but in the future of our planet. Despite the daunting challenges they face, Papua and West Papua stand as beacons of hope, illuminating a path forward for the rest of the world. These regions, rich in biodiversity and cultural heritage, offer a unique glimpse into the resilience of both nature and human spirit, reminding us of the extraordinary resilience of nature and the indomitable spirit of human cultures. In the face of adversity, the people of these provinces have clung to their traditions, their languages and their way of life. Their ceremonies and dances are not just cultural expressions, but are also acts of defiance against the encroaching forces of modernity that threaten to erode their identity. The people of these provinces have clung to their traditions, their languages, and their deep connection to the land and sea. 
Elders pass down wisdom through stories and songs, ensuring that the younger generations understand the importance of their heritage. This intergenerational bond is a cornerstone of their society, fostering a sense of belonging and continuity. Their deep connection to the land and sea, which sustains them both physically and spiritually. The coastal waters provide not just food, but also a sense of identity as fishing techniques and maritime knowledge are passed down through generations. The land, with its lush forests and fertile soil, offers sustenance and a spiritual connection that is deeply ingrained in their way of life, offering a powerful testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit. The future of Papua and West Papua remains unwritten. The choices we make today will determine whether these provinces succumb to the pressures of unsustainable development or emerge as shining examples of how humanity can coexist harmoniously with nature. The path forward will undoubtedly be fraught with challenges, but it is also filled with opportunities for growth and renewal. But the stakes are too high and the potential rewards too great to succumb to cynicism or despair. The lush forests and vibrant communities of Papua and West Papua are at a crossroads. Logging operations and other forms of unsustainable development pose significant threats, but they also highlight the urgent need for sustainable practices that can protect these invaluable resources. The potential rewards too great to succumb to cynicism or despair. Let us draw inspiration from the resilience of the Papuan people who have shown that it is possible to live in harmony with nature. Sustainable fishing practices and community-driven conservation efforts are already making a difference, offering a blueprint for how we can protect our planet while supporting local livelihoods. To succumb to cynicism or despair. Let us draw inspiration from the resilience of the Papuan people, from the breathtaking beauty of their lands and from the rich tapestry of their cultures the smiles of Papuan children and the success of community-driven environmental projects serve as powerful reminders of what is at stake and what can be achieved when we work together. From the breathtaking beauty of their lands, which are home to some of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. The Raja Ampat Islands, with their stunning marine biodiversity and the lush rainforests of Papua, teeming with unique flora and fauna, are natural treasures that must be preserved for future generations. From the rich tapestry of their cultures, which are expressed through traditional art, crafts and festivals. These cultural expressions are not just remnants of the past, but are living traditions that continue to evolve and adapt, reflecting the dynamic nature of Papuan society and work together to ensure that Papua and West Papua, the birds of paradise, continue to soar for generations to come. The birds of paradise, with their vibrant plumage and intricate mating dances, symbolize the beauty and complexity of these regions. They remind us of the delicate balance that must be maintained to ensure the survival of both natural and human communities. Continue to soar for generations to come. As the sun sets over the Raja Ampat Islands, casting a golden glow over the waters, we are reminded of the fleeting nature of time and the urgency of our actions. The future of Papua and West Papua is in our hands, and it is up to us to ensure that these beacons of hope continue to shine brightly, guiding us toward a more sustainable and harmonious world.